Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I am Jen Laurie, Executive Director with Epicure. And so tonight I just wanna thank you for jumping on, whether you're watching live or the replay, and uh, welcome you because this is super cool that we can see, we can be with each other virtually so that I can show you this cooking class and that you are going to learn a few new things and hopefully be inspired to really be able to get some really great delicious meals on the table fast with Epicure's help. And so we are doing kind of a vegan vegetarian type theme here tonight. So we're gonna be making Epicure's veggie burgers. We're gonna be making a coleslaw to go with that. And then we're also gonna be making a sweet banana bread. So all of Epicure is gluten-free. So this is a gluten-free mix, but it's not dense like typical gluten-free baking. It rises, it's fluffy. I'm gonna show you guys it. It's super simple. Now all you need to do to make this mix is add oil, bananas, and eggs. Though if eggs were an issue for you, you could easily have an alternative to eggs as well. So really quickly, we're gonna whip that up. We're gonna make the veggie burgers. We're gonna make the coleslaw. We're gonna do it all in under 20 minutes. So get ready here. It's gonna, it's gonna happen really fast before your eyes. So we're gonna start with the sweet banana bread because it's going to cook while we're making everything else. So really quickly, I'm going to be dumping this in as soon as we mix all the other ingredients. So I've got some bananas in here and I'm using Epicure's meat separator to mash up the bananas. Because I, I was gonna mash it up with a fork and then I was like, oh, it's always such a pain in the butt. So I grabbed my meat separator and it's working perfectly. So I'm super happy with that because I just found another use for Epicure's meat separator. I use it for ground meat but I also use it for making guacamole. It makes the best mashed potatoes ever. So really easy. I am just mashing up the bananas. I'm gonna add the uh, eggs and the oil to it, and then we're gonna mix in all of the, the flour mix that's in here. And then we're gonna put it in our little mini silicone mini muffin pans. These can go in the oven, they can go in the oven up to 425 degrees, or they can go in the microwave. They are also dishwasher friendly, so super easy. And uh, you could also make this recipe in our rectangular steamer and just get one big loaf, or you can use the perfect petite pan and have little bite-sized ones. So really it's up to you, there's options for you. Just crack the eggs in there, I'm gonna stir it up actually gonna grab a whisk to whisk it because then it will stir much better. So we'll mix that up. Much easier, much faster. Okay, just like that, we are done. I'm gonna mix the banana bread and muffin mix in there. And I'm just gonna stir that up with Epicure spatula. I showed you guys a picture of the utensils. They are my favorite. I have multiples in my cupboard because I use them all the time. They're lined with steel, guys. So they're super strong compared to other ones on the market. And they're also all one piece. So you're never gonna have the tip fall off and get all gross inside and then you end up having to throw it out just because it's nasty. You won't have to do that because it's all one piece. And of course, it isn't going to melt if you forget it in the pot on the stove because it is heat resistant. So that's it. That's how fast it is to mix this up. I'm going to fill these up. I'm going to pop them in the microwave for six minutes and we're going to have this all done really fast. Fill those up. Pop it in the microwave. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. I will come back and read the comments, but where are you watching from? And who, who are you feeding in your family? So who's in your home? And if you have anybody that needs specific dietary requirements, I would love to hear about it. And I just want to mention that I also have a Facebook group 
So if you look up, I'll, send, I'll post the link later, but um, if you look up Jen's Epic Life, I do all kinds of different videos all the time on there, as well as posting recipes and different ideas and links and stuff on there. So I would love for you to follow me on there so I can continue giving you different recipe ideas and hopefully inspire you to create great meals in your kitchen. What I love about, you know, I really love about Epicure is the fact that even if you hate cooking, Epicure is still great for you because it's so easy. You're not going to be tied down to, to doing so much cooking because it's super fast and easy. But if you love cooking, there's like a variety of flavors to, to be able to soothe your palate for days. So I'm just going to take this with the cutting board over and pop them in the microwave. All right, next up is our veggie burger. So veggie burger, what we do to mix this is we actually, I used my silicone steamer. So we already talked about the steamer a little bit. So super fast, super easy to make so many meals. So this steamer is what's help, helped us to not have any sort of takeout or packaged food in our house for many, many years. So it is a waterless steamer. You stick your food in there, you stick it in the microwave. It uses the water molecules to cook the food. Now what I used it for today, because you can even use it for things like popcorn. So what I used it for today was quinoa because we're gonna have some quinoa added to the veggie burger mix. And so I did add water to this because of course quinoa has no water in it. So it's just the same as cooking it on the pot. It's a two to one ratio. But the difference is, is I popped it in my microwave and I walked away. I didn't have to worry about it boiling over. I didn't have to worry about it burning to the bottom cooks perfectly every time. So then all I have to do is, cause I need to measure out a cup of it to add. So then I'm just gonna measure out a cup. Oh, and you probably wanna know how long I put that in for. So in the microwave, it takes, to, depending on the, the um, power of your microwave, it'll take eight to 10 minutes to cook uh, the quinoa in, in your microwave. So we have a cup of quinoa. The next thing we're gonna add is shredded up zucchini. So I'm going to use my, to do that really fast, I'm going to actually use my four in one mandolin. It comes with four different blades, or one blade, but four different plates to put in it. So it's really easy to pop out. You just push the button and it pops out. I'm going to pick the super thin julienne plate here. And then I'm gonna just Hold this over here and I'm just going to simply go back and forth and cut it up in there and look at what's popping down in there. So you see these teeny tiny little shredded pieces of zucchini, super fast, super easy. It's super important to have really great tools in the kitchen because that helps make cooking easier and less painful as well. So I do have a guard, so as I get lower, I'm going to pop the guard on there because it is very, very sharp. So I'm gonna pop the guard on there and I'll show you how we use every last bit of this vegetable. Like nothing's gonna go waste. I am right down to the bottom here. So. And right down to the bottom, there's all that's left. So no waste. And then, and then all I'm gonna have to do here is I've kind of messed up my order here. So give me one sec, I'm gonna use this bowl here. We're gonna add just water and lemon juice to this mix. That's the only thing you need to add to this mix. So just water and lemon juice. And then we're gonna stir that into the veggies and the quinoa. So that's the veggie burger mix. So we add just half a cup of warm water and three tablespoons of lemon juice. 
I'm gonna use that. I think your citrus press. So citrus press, we always use fresh lemons and limes now that we have the citrus press. So you just cut the lemon in half and then it looks like you would put it in this way, but you actually put it in the opposite way. So you wanna put it up facing downwards and then you just squeeze that juice. So you can see all the juice that comes out of it. Lots of juice catches it, all the seeds. If there's any seeds in there, it's gonna catch and you'll see that it actually flips it like right inside out and tears all of it out for you. And so it's super easy and not messy at all to be able to use. And that's probably about three tablespoons because it's a pretty big lemon. So then you just stir this up. So you give the veggie burger mix a stir. And then I'm gonna stir it into the quinoa and the zucchini. And then we're gonna form the patties with it. And then you can either use the, you can cook the patties on a barbecue. They do hold together. You can use them, um, you can even freeze really well. So you can even freeze them. Um, and, or you can fry them on a frying pan. Or they work, work really well on the tray and the steamer. So there's lots of different ways and options for you to cook, uh, cook them. I think I'll probably just fry them up in the frying pan tonight. So that's going to take, because you're not actually needing to cook anything, you're just heating it up and getting a nice kind of like fried crispy outside on it. It doesn't take long to cook. It's going to take about five minutes to cook these. So it's super fast to cook. So I just stir that up. And then I'm going to form the patties, make the coleslaw, and we're going to be done this demo so fast. Look at that. We're going to be done for sure in under 20 minutes. I'm going to just let that sit for a minute. Uh, I'm going to show you how I make coleslaw. So coleslaw, I'm going to take out this plate and I'm going to use actually the thicker so I want it to be, we have two different sizes to make the different thinness with so four mils and two mils. I want the four mil one for my coleslaw. So I'm gonna take Epic Your Ceramic Knife, super, super sharp knife. Uh, one of the cool things about the ceramic blade is that when you cut things like lettuce or apples, it's not gonna oxidize as fast, so it's not gonna go all brown on you. So that helps you there. So with this, it's super easy to make your own coleslaw. Cabbage is super inexpensive. So if you make your own coleslaw, you're gonna save a ton of money because you can buy a whole cabbage. And one whole cabbage creates a lot of, a lot of shredded cabbage for coleslaw. It also, um, it will also stay for a long time. It will stay fresh in your fridge for a long time. So you don't have to worry about it going bad. So it's a really great vegetable to add to lots of different things. So you get the picture, super easy, right? And then you're gonna see that it's all shredded up nicely. You could even do some carrot slices in there. So you could even do some carrot slices. Just for some, I like to do carrots, add carrots just for some added texture and a different flavor so it's not just pure cabbage so I would do some carrots like that and then I would make up my dressing so I use the salad dressing cruet from Epicure to make the dressing and I'm gonna use the sesame ginger sesame ginger actually has three different recipes on the back of the jar so it's a pretty versatile a versatile one so I'm just gonna follow the recipe on the back I'm gonna actually half the recipe so you can actually make how much you need Instead of having like bottles and bottles of dressings in your fridge, you can make as much as you need and not have things just sitting around. Um, one of the things to note is our salad dressings actually make seven cups worth of dressing. So they're very, very cost, uh, cost effective, I think is the right word. So, cause you're just adding things like oil and vinegar, really inexpensive to add. 
and then a tablespoon or so of the seasoning mix and you will get lots of dressing out of it. So I'm gonna make just a small recipe. So I just need oil, soy sauce, and rice vinegar. I always get confused on this one, which amount is the rice vinegar and which one is the oil because it's a little bit different than the other formulas we have. So on the salad dressing cruet, I can skip the measuring device when I'm doing oil and vinegar because it actually has measurements on the side of the jar. So that's super handy. And then I will add the soy sauce. So I, my favorite soy sauce that I like to recommend is this one here. And the reason why I love this one is because it has two ingredients. So I would love to see what kind of soy sauce you use or if you've even discovered this one yet. It has the best flavor. It tastes like my replacement of the soy sauce I used to use way back when I didn't really understand labels and reading labels and wasn't really as focused on buying products that were good for me. And so I couldn't believe when I did a comparison of how much junk is in soy sauce, and it's not actually soy sauce. It's like this made up product that is supposed to replicate soy sauce. Soy sauce should only have two ingredients, purified water and soybeans, that's it. And so um, that's what's in this one. So it's far, far healthier for you without any of the preservatives and chemicals and wheat fillers and all the extras. And you can buy a big giant bottle of this at like Superstore or wherever they, all the stores carry it now. So I'm just measuring out a couple tablespoons of the soy sauce. So it tastes like my old favorite brand and that was one of the things that sold it on me because it was, it just tasted really good. And then I just need a tablespoon of the seasoning. You'll see I'm using a four in one spice spoon. It actually has the measurements on all sides of the spoon, so you don't have to go digging in your drawer for which one's going to be the right one. There's a tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, all in one, so it's super easy. And it fits in all our jars, so you're not pouring the spice into a measuring spoon and making a big mess. So then we just shake that up. We pour it over the coleslaw and it's gonna be all ready to go. So I wanna show you guys how easy it is to make up these patties. I just have some parchment paper so that it can really lift up easy afterwards. So you can make these any size you like. I kinda of like them smaller because then I can use them in lunches and make like nourish bowls and, and use them as my protein in a salad for lunch. So I'm gonna make a bunch of little ones because I'm not eating them on a bun today, so I'm not so concerned about making them like the size of a burger. So they're super easy to form into a patty. And then I'm just gonna fry them in a big frying pan. So it's gonna be really easy. What do you guys think? Tell me, tell me in the comments what you think. And I would love to hear what you think because we're almost at that 20 minute mark. And so, I would like to hear from you guys. So super easy. Veggie burgers are not always the easiest thing to make, but these ones are super easy. They taste delicious. We also have something called pickles. It's like a quick pickling mix. I do that with red onions and it's so good. We always have a jar of quick pickled red onions in the fridge and it's so good on there. And I'll also make up an aioli. So I'll make up an aioli to go with this also. And that can be made ahead and just put in your fridge and you can use it for multiple meals throughout the week. So an aioli is just seasoning with mayo. It's super, super easy to make. It could be made with any kind of mayo. So then I'm just gonna fry that up. I'm gonna just shred up the rest of my coleslaw. Give me a second. Here, 
is what our muff, our mini loaves look like. So remember our banana breads? So if you're wondering about the silicone, see how I didn't oil these or anything? And watch, watch what will happen. Comes out one piece, super easy to clean. This will wipe right out, super easy. You've got your banana bread. See how nice it, it fluffed up and rose in there? So it doubled in size. So I've got all of those ready. We've got these ready to fry, which will take no time at all. And I will shred the rest of this. I'm gonna plate it up and show you guys a picture after this video. So you will get to see what it, the finished product looks like. So thank you so much for watching and being on here live. And if you're watching the replay, please, um, please post and let me know that you watched the replay. And then I will catch you guys later on the group, all right? Thanks for watching, bye.